Hey, what's up guys? AY Stream here with five sacred things you didn't know you could build in your very own Minecraft world. Including a Japanese box kite, a picnic table, a one-of-a-kind modern bed design, an anime zombie warrior, and my personal favorite today, an actual working tank which you can drive and fire explosives. That's right guys, if you're destructive like me, well this is the build for you. So make sure you stick around till that point in the video because you are not going to want to miss out. You're also not going to want to miss that this video has no mods, no add-ons and no commands, meaning you'll be able to build these in your survival world for any version of Minecraft. Whether you guys are on an iPad, iPhone, Android, PlayStation, Xbox, PC or Nintendo, Switch, you'll be able to show off to your friends with these builds. And well, if you want to become a pro Minecraft builder and really impress your friends, then why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and bell icon to ling ding ding so you get the coolest builds before any of your friends do. But that's enough of me talking. You guys want to see the builds, so let's get Right into it. First up is our very aesthetically pleasing, actually flying Japanese box kite. And for this, you're going to need one birch fence, a piece of yellow wool, some scaffolding, one blue wool, a soul lantern, a loom, eight blue banners, eight red dye, eight yellow dye, two stone slabs, a rabbit, you can bring one over with a carrot or spawn one in if you're in creative, and finally a lead. So first off, you want to choose where are you going to place this box kite, and wherever that place is going to be, you're going to build up with just any random block, one, two, three blocks tall, like so. Above this, you want to place one birch fence block, and you can destroy the three blocks underneath. That's going to be the bottom of our box kite. Then grab your yellow wool here, place this above your birch fence, one piece of scaffolding and then blue wool just above that. Next, we're going to grab our soul lantern and put that right on the top. And this is going to be the inner skeleton of our box kite. It's actually going to mean it lights up at nighttime, which looks really, really cool. Next, we're going to need to decorate it a bit. So chuck down your loom here, guys. We're going to put our blue banners into our loom and you want to chuck in your red dye. And what you want to do is choose the thing that cuts it diagonally across in half with the red being in the top left. I believe the pattern is called red per bend inverted. Or, or you could just imagine it's the triangle on the, on the top left here, guys. We're going to make eight of those. Chuck it back in the loom, put your yellow dye in, and now you want to choose the triangle that's facing downwards so you get a pattern that looks like this. It's called the yellow inverted chevron. I don't understand why Minecraft battle names are all so complicated, guys, but we're going to get eight of those. Once you got those, bring them up to your box kite here, guys, and on the yellow wool here, you're going to place one on each side. So one, two, oh, I've already stuffed it up. One, two, three three and four like so and then you're going to come up here to our soul lantern and you're going to place on all sides of the soul lantern as well so one two three and four and voila guys check that out that is the actual box kite itself looking very very nice and now all we need to do is well have a string to attach it to because you know if this was just like this well the box kite would float off into the sky that would not be very nice we want to keep it down at the ground so we're going to grab our two stone slabs our rabbit and our lead and what you want to do is wherever your box kite is here guys you want to stand under it and you want to go one block to the left then dig down one two blocks and place one stone slab. You're going to want to get your rabbit into this hole or you can spawn one in like so. Grab your lead, attach it to your rabbit and then attach it to your birch fence here at the bottom and cover this hole up with your stone slab. And voila, there you have it, our beautiful flying Japanese box kite like so. And because of that soul lantern, if you go ahead and change it to midnight here, Check it out, our soul lantern is going to light up this box kite. So you could have an entire collection of box kites. You could even make them out of tons of different colors using different wool and banner patterns to make a really beautiful night display. But that is build number one. Let's move on to build number two. Now, here in the land down under, it's just coming around to springtime. So the weather is perfect for a picnic. And then I realized that, you know, it's kind of always the perfect weather in Minecraft for a picnic. So why don't we build a really nice picnic table to share with your friends? So that's exactly what we're doing. For this, you're going to need seven campfires, a shovel of sorts. It can be a wooden shovel, iron shovel, doesn't matter. You're going to need a bunch of some random block just to use as scaffolding. We'll just use cobblestone, doesn't matter what you use. You're also going to need three spruce trapdoors, six spruce signs, three armor stands, two oak fences, two pistons, a redstone activation device. You can use a lever or a block of redstone. And finally, four beds. So let's get started. First, decide where you want to put it. Then what we're going to do is build the first seat side. So we're going to place one, two, three campfires like so. 
then leave a single gap row here. And we're going to place one, two, three more like so. These are going to be the two sides of our picnic table. Then grab your wooden shovel because, well, you don't exactly want your seats to be on fire. Your bottom, well, bad. It won't be so pleasant. So we're going to go ahead and you can go ahead and click on your campfire with your shovel. And it's going to put your campfire out. So one, two, three four, five, six. And as you can see, this is going to leave us with this really nice rustic kind of log seat design that isn't going to burn your butt. Then you want to place your random block here in the middle and you want to place one spruce trapdoor on the left of that on the top half of the block and then one on the right and destroy that center scaffolding block. Then come around to the side here, grab your spruce signs and you want to crouch and you want to place a sign on the side of this spruce trap door like so. Now it's super important you place the one in the middle first because otherwise the ones on the campfires won't stay. Then we're going to go ahead and you want to crouch and you want to place one on the campfire on the right and campfire on the left. We're going to do the exact same thing on the right hand side here guys. So go ahead, crouch, place your sign on that trap door and then one here on the campfire on the left and one on the right. And as you guys can see, this is the bottom of our picnic table. But you can't have a picnic table with that, you know, a nice shade umbrella. So let's go ahead and build one. What you're going to do is you want to crouch here, guys. I'm going to place our random scaffolding block on top of this trapdoor here. And you're going to come one, two up, and then one in the center like so. Then grab your armor stand. We're going to place one facing to the left like this. And you want to crouch and click on your armor stand to put him in the second straight position like that. Then break this block so he falls down. We're going to place that block back. And again, we're going to place another armor stand, this time facing forward. And again, crouch and go ahead and put him in that second position. We'll break that block, place another one. And this time we're going to have him facing the right way. Put him in that second position, break that block. And these are going to fall down, creating a nice little pillar, like a wooden pillar design that looks really, really good. But is also going to allow us to put a table in the center, which you wouldn't be able to do with fence blocks. Then you want to go ahead and we're just going to build this thing back here. And you want to place a spruce trap door on the top half of that cobblestone block. Then go ahead and crouch and you want to place one, two oak fences above it like this. Then we're going to implement our double piston system here, guys. You're going to build one, two, three blocks up, break out those two blocks and place two pistons facing it downwards like so. Go ahead, activate that first piston, activate that second piston. We can destroy all of this now. And as you guys can see, check that out. This makes a really nice design. We've got this wooden pillar going through the table just like in a real life picnic table. And now what we need is the umbrella. So we're going to chuck a campfire here on the top, put it out once again. We don't want a burning umbrella. And then grab your beds here, guys. You're going to need to grab your cobblestone and on the bottom oak fence, just under the campfire, you're going to basically build a rim around with cobblestone like so. And using this, guys, you want to place your red beds one, two, three, four, like so. And you can break out the cobblestone from underneath now, just like that. And voila, guys, you have yourself a very nice outdoor picnic table to share a nice old meal with your friends. All right, let's move on to build number three. Now, I'm sorry, guys, if I rush through this build just a little bit. It's just that my favorite build, the actually working tank, is a... Uh, coming up next. So I kind of want to get to that quickly and I'm sure you guys do as well. So make sure to stick around in the video because you're not going to want to miss that. But this here is our one of a kind modern bed design that actually works. I'll explain what I mean by that in just a second. But for this, you're going to need four block of quartz, two gray beds, eight quartz stairs, two white carpet, four gray carpet, a wither skeleton skull, and a lantern. Now, the thing with beds, guys, at least very fancy bed designs is usually they look really cool. They use wool and all types of things, but you can't actually sleep in them because, well, they're not actually beds. But this design basically hides beds underneath the design, meaning not only does it look awesome, but you can also sleep in it, which I think is really, really great. So for this, guys, grab your block, of course. I'm going to place one, two, like so. Then grab your two gray beds and place them directly in front. In front of these beds, place two more quartz blocks. Then grab your quartz stairs here and you want to place one upside down on the left and right hand sides of our bed head. Now, this is a little bit tricky here, guys, but you're going to come to the bottom half of the bed and you want to place one quartz stair facing inwards. Then on the left side here, you're going to place another quartz stairs, but you want it to be the corner block like this. That's going to be super important in just a sec. Then come around to your right side and do the exact same thing again with that corner block. We're going to imitate this design on the other side. So let's jump over here. We'll place one quartz stair there and then go ahead and place one, making sure, oh, not like that. You want it to be that corner block style. Do the same thing on the left here as well. Now grab your white carpet here, guys. We're going to place one, two on the top and then we're going to crouch and you want to place gray carpet on top of our beds here. Then grab your wither skeleton skull, place it, you know, facing slightly inwards here and your lantern on the right side. And check that out, guys. You've got this really lovely modern bed design. 
But as I said, this one actually works. So if we go ahead and just switch our time to midnight here, guys, what's really awesome about this is while it looks really fancy having the white wool as your pillow and this as the blanket, you can still actually sleep in it because if you come around here, our corner block has allowed us to actually see our bed underneath and sleep underneath the carpets, meaning it's still a working bed, which I think is really awesome. Looks great, is functional. What more could you ask for in a bed? But next is our tag design. Yes, I'm excited. And we are finally here. My favorite build for today, the actually working tank, which you can ride in and shoot explosives. If you've been looking forward to this build, guys, drop a like down below. And at the end of it, if you think that this is going to be your favorite build in today's video, I want to know. So let me know by leaving a like like right now on the video. But as you can imagine, tanks are complicated machines and because of that, they're also going to need quite a few items. So for this guys, you're gonna need two smokers, two spruce wood stairs, nine spruce trapdoors, three grindstones, a bunch of just any random block to use as scaffolding. We're just gonna use cobblestone, but you can use anything you like. You're going to need one cauldron, a bucket of water, one black dye, two gray dye, 10 leather caps, 10 armor stands, two oak fences, two pistons, a redstone activation device. You can use a lever or a block of redstone. Six of whatever your ground block is. We're going to be using Podzol. Then you want two tripwire hooks, a rail, a minecart, a dispenser, a bunch of explosives, obviously. You can use TNT if you want to be really destructive, but we're just going to use fire charges. You can also use arrows. And then finally, one stone button. Whew! All right, that's a lot. Let's get into it. So first up, guys, choose where you want your tank to be. And we're going to place one, two smokers like so. Then grab your spruce wood stairs. You want to place one up front like here. Come around to the back and you're going to crouch and place one facing inwards on the back. Then grab your spruce trap doors. You're going to place one here behind this smoker. Activate that. You want to crouch and place a trap door on top of your smoker. Hold, keep crouching, and go ahead and place another trapdoor on top like so. So you get a design that looks like this. Then grab your grindstone here, guys, and you want to crouch. And you'll place this facing onto the trapdoor here. You need to crouch and click on the trapdoor and place one. Continue crouching, place two and three grindstones like so. So this is the skeleton of our tank. Next, you're going to go ahead and you want to come to the sides of our tank. And we're going to dig down uh, one, two, three, and you want to build two blocks deep. So we're going to go one, two, three again. Do the same thing on the left side here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Grab your spruce trapdoors and you want to basically line the bottom of this with trapdoors. So go one, two, three. And then again on the left hand side, one, two, three. Next, we're going to grab our cobblestone here, guys, and you want to place uh, on this side of this stair block here, and you want to build one, two, three, four, and then a fifth block here. So you get like this five block long thing. This is going to be our scaffolding, and again, you can use any block to do this. Come around to your left side and do the same thing here, guys. We're going to place one, and then one up the back here, and then one, two, three, four. Oh, I went a little bit too long. So you've got something that looks a little bit like this. Then come off to the side here. We're going to place our cauldron. Fill that up with some water. You want to place one black dye, and then two gray dye. So one two so you get a color that looks like this let's go ahead and switch to our next lot of items then you want to go ahead and dye each of your 10 leather caps but since we're creative we can just go ahead and dye one then grab your armor stands here guys and you want to place one two three on the center three cobblestone blocks and do the same thing on the left hand side one two three then grab your leather caps and place one on top of each of these armor stands like so Next, we're gonna destroy the three blocks that these armor stands are on. So bop, 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 and they should fall nicely into that hole there. We'll do the same thing on the left side. Bop, bop, bow, and down they go. Then we're gonna go ahead and essentially rebuild back in our cobblestone here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and one, two, three. Very simple. Then you're gonna grab your oak fence and place one each in the center of our cobblestone scaffolding. And you're gonna place one armor stand in front of each fence and one armor stand behind each fence. Go ahead and give each of these a leather cap like so. Then grab your pistons here and you want to place one piston facing inwards to each armor stand and do the same thing on the other side here, one and two. Then grab your block of redstone. You want to push each of these armor stands into that center fence. We'll do the same thing on the left hand here. Activate both your pistons and that's going to push them nicely in the fence. Then we can go ahead and destroy all of our cobblestone. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, like so. And these will fall nicely down. And then one, two, three, four, five, like so. And you can also destroy those fence blocks. And now you guys can see already, these look like actual treads or like tires of our tank, which are really, really awesome. 
However, you can see the armor stance. We want to get rid of that. So let's go ahead and grab our floor block, which is our podzol here. And you're going to place one, two, three directly above our armor stance. Do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three. And now we're going to utilize our double piston system. So go ahead, place like this. And you want to place two pistons facing downwards like so and activate those. Now, you can do this one at a time if you don't have a lot of pistons. But if you're in creative, I recommend just placing one, two, one, two, all facing downwards like that. Do the same thing on the right hand side. One, two, oh, stuff that up. One, two, one, two, and one, two. Then activate the top layer of pistons. One, two, three. And activate the bottom layer of pistons. One, two, three. Do the same thing on the left side here. Top layer, one, two, three. Bottom layer. One, two, three, and you can go ahead and destroy all of this ugly pistons and blah, redstone. Get rid of that all because that's not important to our tank. And as you guys can see, check it out. We've actually got treads, actual physical treads for our tank. However, they're not connected to our tank yet. So let's grab our tripwire hooks. You want to crouch and place a tripwire hook here on the left of your smoker and then on the right of the smoker as well. And there you guys have it. Check that out. You've actually got treads attached to our tank. But now we need somewhere to sit. So what you're gonna do is just grab your scaffolding block here and you're gonna place this above your trapdoor like so. And then place your rail, place your minecart on the rail and destroy the block underneath so your minecart falls down. Then go ahead and open this trapdoor so your minecart falls one block down and close up that trapdoor once again. And now, check this out, guys. You can actually go ahead and sit inside your tank. You can ride this thing. How awesome is that? Look at that. You can actually ride inside your tank. Like, brrr, brrr. I think this is absolutely awesome. And honestly, this, for me personally, as a kind of decorative item, is where I would leave this design. I think decoratively, this looks really aesthetically pleasing. So if you're just doing this for looks and you don't want to blow things up, then leave it like this. However, if you do want to blow things up, grab your dispenser, grab your fire charges, arrows, or TNT, and your stone bottom. What you're going to do is break off this front grindstone. You want to crouch, place the dispenser on the end here, and we're going to fill that in with our fire charges. Uh, oh, we stuffed that up. Put those fire charges in that dispenser. Go ahead and crouch. Place a button on top of your dispenser. And now when you're riding in your tank, you can go ahead and click this button. But I am. And as you guys can see, it's actually going to... Oh, okay. It's burning my picnic table. Oh, um, picnic... Oh, uh, ah. Uh, Essentially, you can drive your tank and now you can fire actual protectors like Patoo! 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 And oh, okay. Well, I'm really, really destroying my other build. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Hey, just yet, guys, because there is one more really, really awesome build that honestly, there's nothing quite like it and will really, really impress your friends. So, guys, let's move on to build number five. Now, honestly, this is such a unique build design. I've just never seen it before, and I don't even know really what to call it. Like, I don't know what this thing is, other than it looks absolutely flippin' awesome. Your friends will be so, so impressed. So guys, you're just gonna have to wait and see. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see how awesome this looks. But let's get started. So for this, you're gonna need three barrels, three grass blocks, three spruce wood stairs, three anisite stairs, some sort of shovel, five spruce trapdoors, a campfire, four mossy cobblestone walls, two spruce fences, a lantern, some water, two armor stands, a zombie head, and then the rest of your leather armor, excluding the head. You're going to need a head, iron chest plate, iron leggings, iron boots, an iron sword, an anvil, one name tag, nine kelp, and then three types of coral, whatever your favorite colors are. We're going to use red, pink, and uh, yellow. All right, so let's get started. Basically, you're going to need to dig out a space first, which I've marked here with the black stone. It's going to need to be three blocks, so one, two, three, and then five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then seven blocks wide, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you want to do this for three layers. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven again, and then again, and then again, five now, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, making this kind of like circle-ish shape. And then you want to come to the center here, guys, and you want to dig out a one, two, three, three by three hole here, guys, uh, a square in the center of this open space. Then grab your barrels here, come round to the back, and you place one, and you want to crouch, two, and three. Then grab your grass block here, come to the left side of our circle, place this down, and go ahead and use your shovel to turn it into a path block. Then you want to place one spruce wood stairs, and then an andesite stair here, guys, but we want to make it the corner stair like that. Then do the exact same thing on the right side here, guys. Place down your grass block, go ahead, turn it into a path block, one spruce stair, and then one andesite stair there, if we can get it. There we go, corner block. And then we'll also do the same thing here on the front. We're going to place your one grass block, your wooden shovel to turn it into a path block, one spruce wood stair, and then an andesite stair in the corner position like so. Then. 
We're going to grab our spruce trap doors here, guys. You want to crouch, and you want to place one spruce on the top, uh, on the left side of our barrel, one in the center, and you want to keep crouching and place one, two, three, coming out so it comes right to the center of our circle. Then grab your campfire. You want to crouch and place the campfire on that barrel there using your wooden shovel to put it out. Then grab your cobblestone wall here, guys. We're going to come to the left corner of our square now. I'm going to place one, two, one, two spruce fences like so. And then one, two uh, of the cobblestone wall coming out like this. And we're going to grab our lantern here. And you essentially want to hang this down, making a nice little lantern. All right, let's switch to our next lot of items. So with the water, you've probably guessed we're going to fill in this open space here with water. So just go ahead and go crazy with the water buckets here, guys. You just want to fill all of this in. And then once you've filled this all up with water, just make sure you don't miss these stair blocks here. You want to go ahead and waterlog these as well. So just be very careful and go ahead and fill those in with water. We'll do that on all three of the sides here. Bop, bop. Bing and boop. Very nice. So we have this nice little lake design going on. Then we're going to grab our armor stand here, guys. You want to crouch and place an armor stand on top of this trapdoor here. And you want to place another armor stand underwater beneath the uh, armor stand on top. Then on the top armor stand, you're going to place your zombie head and your leather armor. So your leather tunic, your leather pants, and your leather boots. You want to crouch and you want to put them in one, two in that second position like so. Then for our bottom armor stand, you're going to place your head, your iron chest plate, and the rest of your iron armor. So we'll grab our iron leggings, our iron boots, and our iron sword here, guys. And you're going to place your iron leggings, your iron boots, your iron sword. And again, you're going to crouch and put them in that second position, one, two, so that these guys look exactly the same, except for the fact that that's a zombie and this is a player. Then we're going to grab our anvil and our name tag. We'll also grab our kelp and coral while we're at it. Bop and boop. And you want to place your anvil off to the side. And we're going to switch this name tag in here and name it Dinner Bone. Now, for those of you pro Minecraft players, you already know this is going to switch our armor stand underneath upside down. So go ahead and name the armor stand down here with that name tag. And boop, as you guys can see, it's going to flip him over. And this makes something that just looks so awesome straight out of like an anime movie where you have like this zombie here looking over the lake, but then underneath his reflection is actually a player. So it looks like this zombie used to once be a great player, but unfortunately he died in battle and now he's like looking through at his memory. It just looks like something straight out of a movie. It is so awesome, guys. And now all we're going to do is decorate this lake with some kelp and some corals. So let's go ahead and we'll just put some kelp in here. You can kind of play around with this. Um... Place it in wherever you think looks nice. You can be a little bit creative with that. And we'll also place in some coral. Place some fire coral, some pink coral just in that corner. And maybe some yellow coral there. And now you have a very, very aesthetically pleasing thing that looks straight out of a movie. As said, I don't know how to describe this. All I know is it looks awesome. And even at midnight, because of that uh, lantern there, guys, this is going to look really, really cool. If I can actually type in commands. Don't mind me stuffing that up. Look at how cool that. That looks awesome. That just looks awesome. And I think, well, at least I think it looks awesome, guys. But those are the five builds for today. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, make sure to go ahead, drop a like down below. If you want to see more builds like this, make sure to slap the subscribe button, hit the bell, to ding, ding, ding. And, well, that brings us to the end. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, anyway, stream out. Bye!